Within this lesson, we'll divide decimals using place value understanding, including remainders in the smallest unit. Here we start with 1.7, and we're dividing by 2. Ones, tenths, hundredths. Model our number first, and we're dividing it into two groups. Can I divide 1 by 2? Nope. So I have to unbundle it. Bundle 1, exchange it for 10 tenths. Then I can go ahead and divide these ones here by 2. There are, let's see, 17 tenths, so that means that there are eight each. So that's 16 of them, meaning I have to take one more and exchange it for hundredths. How many hundredths? Ten. And when I divide the ten hundredths by two, I get 5. So our answer is 0 0.85. Let's show our written method as well. 2 can't go into 1. 2 can go into 17, 8 whole times, because 8 times 2 is 16. 17 minus 16 is 1. Add a 0 to drop a 0. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. And 10 minus 10 is 0. And the decimal point. So that's our written method for that problem. Here's another problem. Model our number first. Draw out our groups. I can't divide my two ones, so I'll have to regroup them to tenths. So I regroup them together. Okay, and then so I have 26 divided by 4, that's 6 within each. With the remainder of 2 still. That remainder of 2 gets regrouped into the hundreds place. So that I have 20 there. And when I divide 20 by 4, I get 5. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And then so our number is point six five as our answer. Here's our written work. 4 can go into 26 6 whole times because 6 times 4 is 24. 26 minus 24 is 2. Add a 0 to drop a 0. 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. And 20 minus 20 is 0. And my decimal point. What do you notice that is different about this problem? Right, we're just dividing a whole number by 4. Let's use our written method first. 4 goes into 17, 4 whole times, because 4 times 4 is 16. 
17 minus 16 is 1. That's where we start adding. We add a decimal place, add a place value. Drop the 0. 10 divided by 4 is 2, because 2 times 4 is 8, and 10 minus 8 is 2. Add a 0, drop a 0. 20 divided by 4 is 5, and our decimal point. Let's see what that looks like with place value chart. Model our number first. Seventeen. Okay, when I take seventeen and divide it by four, there are four within each. And then that leaves me with one. That one I can regroup to the tenths place. And I'm dividing 10 of those by 4. So you can put 2 within each. I then take 2 of them that I didn't use yet and regroup them to the hundredths place. And 20 divided by 4 is 5. And so our number within each of these groups is four ones, two tenths, five hundredths. So the same answer as we got when we were using our numbers. You try. Use the standard algorithm to go ahead and divide 22 by 8. 8 goes into 22, 8 goes into 22 two whole times because 2 times 8 is 16, 22 minus 16 is 6, add a 0 to drop a 0, 60 divided by 8 is 7 because 7 times 8 is 56, 50, 60 minus 56 is 4, add that 0 to drop a 0, 40 divided by 8 is 5, and then our decimal point comes straight up. If we had wanted to check this, we would have taken 2.75 and multiplied it by 8. Run a check. Pause the video and run a check. Did you get the correct answer? 8 times 5 is 40. 0, regroup of 4. 8 times 7 is 56, plus 4 is 60. 0, regroup of 6. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 6 is 22. And we place our decimal point. Here's another one for you to try. 5 the video while you do your work. Use the standard algorithm. 5 Look over your work. 1.925. would be 1.925. Here's one more for you. Use that standard algorithm. Compare yours against the screen. 